Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. It's Chris with EXP Educators, and today is just a fantastic day. I cannot believe I'm sitting here with the Brent Gove. Uh, I have known Brent since the Craig Proctor days back in the early 2000s. I was always fascinated with his business, and he has been mega, mega successful. He has a fantastic real estate team that he runs in uh, Sacramento area. We couldn't be happier to be in business with him. His organization at EXP here is massive, and I'm going to let Brent tell his story. Brent, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. Even better now, my wife just bought me a cup of Puerto Rican coffee, baby. So I got some, <laughs> I got some nitro here to kick it into gear for the the video. Right on, right on. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I know your story is well-traveled, but there may be some people that have not heard your story. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, born in Southern California, San Diego. Moved up to Sacramento in 1976. I was 10 and uh, went off to college in 85 and uh, found my way into sales by 87. Dropped out of college <laughs> and did extremely well in sales. I'm a people person. I love people and I'm self-motivated, you know, kind of a Zig Ziglar kind of guy, right? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that sort of thing. And did really well. Got in real estate when I was 30 and spent my first 12 years till I was about 42 at uh, Remax. Mm -hmm. um, got up to where I was, my team and I, and I had showing agents and staff. We were selling over 400 homes annually. That was back in wow. 2005. Yeah. I get the Quantum <laughs> Leap Award. Remember, we were at Craig Proctor. So I actually won the Quantum Leap Award from Craig Proctor in 2004. Yeah. Uh, business was just booming. I, I went there at 48 sales a year and left at 400. I 10 x my business. And um, so that was great. And then the market crashed in 05. Everyone said it was 08. For Sacramento, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Florida, it was 05. Summer oh, yeah. I'll never forget it. In June, I closed on 55 homes. I got paid 55 times. I'm rich. Everything's great. You know, you make 288,000 net in a month, not a year, yeah. a month. You're like, got the tiger by the tail. Life is good. And then the next month we closed 19. And for a lot of people watch this, like 19, I'd love to close 19. That's great. But when your overhead's 128,000 a month with staff and office space and, you know, radio and TV and magazines and every website you can think of and Google AdWords sure. and all that, you know, website optimization, all that stuff we were doing. Um, it was financially devastating is what it was. So I went through a lot of pain. By 09, I was so, it had been in so much pain for four years, not a year. Most of America, it was 08, but for, for, for me, it started in 05. So four years into it, I go, you know, I need to change. I don't know what I need to do. And I found Keller Williams. And, mm -hmm. um, Started attending their stuff, loved it. Um, thrived. Yeah. A funny thing is, Remax said it would they would destroy me. They're a company for newbies. You know, you only go to Keller Williams if you're a rookie, if you're a weak, if you're a lemming. I mean, this is the kind of stuff they said at Remax. Wow. And then we sell 400 homes a year. What in the world are you going to a company for newbie agents as pathetic as Keller Williams? They they would lay it on every. I'm like, I don't know. I've I've been to their training. It's pretty dang good. You know, they yeah. planning clinics and. And so I went and I just said, look, if his Keller's as horrible as you say it is, I'll be back in six months. Well, eight years later, I found myself in love with Keller Williams. I got the corner office. I had run a 500 agent office by then. And um, life is good. I got an 18 agent team, six listing specialists, 12 buyer specialists. Life is good. And along, along came EXP and I found EXP uh, four and a half years ago. And uh, we'll, we'll get more into that. But obviously, you know, I changed brokerages one time in two decades. Yeah. So I wasn't the guy who jumped around a lot, right? In 20 yeah. years, I made one change. Yeah. So this was my second change four and a half years ago. And it's been, you know, life changing. Sure, like, sure. Gravity. Yeah, well, <laughs> or, it, it, when the cavemen discovered the wheel, yeah. over the square wheel, it was really helpful. But exactly. Go exactly. Change things when that happened. So, you know, if I can take you back to the beginning and uh, really kind of what was your belief and mindset when you, you got the call and 
from a friend of yours and, and kind of take us so through. We're talking the beginning of EXP or not? Yes. The be yeah, yeah, beginning of EXP, correct. Yeah. You know, when, it's funny, the, the beginning of the real estate went the same way too. A friend of mine, Darren Romedicato, gave me the call and said, you should get real estate. You'd be great. You're outgoing. You love people. You're motivated. You just kill it. I'm like, you think so? And I got my license at 30. So, and the call went much like that for EXP. Got a call from Sheila Fergeran out of Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. Single mom, two teenage boys going to own Oh my gosh, Brent, um, you know, I've seen this speak at a Haas Pratt's uh, seminar. You were amazing. I was so impressed with you. And man, I'd love your opinion about EXP. I'm like, EX, what? They're like, EXP? It's the fastest growing real estate model in North America. I'm like, I never heard of it. You know? and she's like, well, man, it would mean a lot to me if you'd give me your opinion. So I watched it and, and I, was, I was shocked. I wasn't like surprised. I was floored. When, I, when you really look behind the veil, when you lift the hood and you really look at the engine, because mm -hmm. if I just listened to what Remax told me about Keller Williams, I never would have joined Keller Williams. But I actually went to Keller Williams mega camp and family union and their, their listing yep. classes and how to build a $100 million team and the one thing and all the different things. I'm like, no, this is actually world-class training. Oh, yeah. It's the thing. When I looked under the hood, when I went behind the veil and looked at EXP, which I'm open-minded, I was... I wasn't surprised. I was shocked. And um, I made the change. And Keller Williams said it would destroy my career. It would annihilate me. It was the worst decision I ever made. And I said the same thing to Keller Williams. I said, Remax, look, if you're right, I'll be back in six months. I'm yeah. not buying an EXP franchise. It's a national, international real estate company. You can't buy your way in. You can build your way in. And we will be at a million agents in the next, take it to the bank. In the next seven years, we'll be a million agents in the world. 900,000 coming. And so we're just coming of age. Yeah. We're, we're like when people were just hearing about Uber and Netflix and Amazon and Airbnb. We're right there at Apple. We're right there at that, at that emphasis stage. And we're about to absolutely explode. So um, I, I don't know if I answered your question, but, you know. You did. You did. Because you, you kind of talked about, you know, it, the, the phone call, but it was more like, what was your belief and mindset? You know, it's a new company. Uh, you yeah. know, this is this is this is before 50, 60,000 plus agents. I, I don't know how many agents there were when you got there, but some 1200, 1200. <laughs> and, and I will tell you this belief and mindset. I remember having empathy for anyone that was not at Keller Williams. I mean, like, oh, my gosh, if they only knew if they mm -hmm. only knew what Keller Williams was about, they would not be at Compass. They would not be at Sotheby's. They would not be at Christie's. They would not be at Berkshire Hathaway. They would be at Keller Williams. And I remember feeling sorry for having empathy for anyone at any other brokerage like they They just don't get it. Right. They don't get it. Like, oh, I'm Remax. I'm Coldwell Banker. You're a fool. If you don't, <laughs> if you haven't looked at Keller Williams, you're like, I thought this was an EXP thing. I'm just, if you want to compare apples to apples, they're like, I checked out EXP once and blah, blah. I mean, I mean, I checked out Keller Williams once. Check it out again. You know, I went to Craig Proctor 20 years ago and the guy next to me sat with his arms crossed, his legs crossed, his eyes crossed. And he's like, this is a bunch of crap. And he just wants our money. And, and I'm out of here. This is a scam. And he left. I sat there. I was selling 48 homes a year ago. Of course he wants our money. He's a trainer. I mean, he's got a coaching program. This is how he makes a living. I mean, if I was training, I'd want people's money too. I wouldn't do it for free. Yeah. When I lift their homes, I want their money. <laughs> I want to get paid a commission. You know, it's how the world works, people. Yeah. And I remember his attitude was so bad. He left. I went. I think I'm going to sign up for coaching. You know, <laughs> and he's like, those suckers sign up. I, I wouldn't sign up for coaching. All I know is that five years later, I was selling 400 homes a year and I 10 x my business because I had my mind was open to the possibility. Right. So that's where my mindset was. If you're not at Keller Williams, like there's, there's Keller Williams and there's yeah. everybody else down here. Yeah. I mean, and kudos to Keller Williams for making me feel that way. Yeah. So you Same here. So why is Chris, why is Brent at EXP if Keller Williams is so amazing? I didn't know about EXP. EXP wasn't invented. I mean, it was in 09, but it didn't come in front of my radar till the end of 2016. It mm -hmm. was October 21st. Oh, when wow. you know the day, like, you know, the day your son was born or the day I got married, September 28th, 1991, this next week is my 30 year wedding anniversary. But when you know the day, like 9-11. Yeah. Well, you know the day something happened, and I know the day I saw XP. I can't tell you the day I saw Remax. I can't tell you this day I saw Keller Williams. But I can tell you the day 
I saw um, EXP and wow. it, it's been, I mean, you know, people watch this. Okay. So what's the big deal this year? And I'm just a guy with seven kids. I coach soccer. I coach little league. I'm busy at church, men's camp. You know, I'm involved in men's ministry at my church. I play golf every Friday. I love it. That's my thing. And I like to watch cage fighting, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> me, you know, UFC school. And, and I got kids and I'm trying to be a husband and a dad and be a business guy. And I'm like anybody else. I have my struggles. You know, I just lost a bunch of weight. I still need to lose more weight. I'm nobody special. I will probably close a hundred thousand home sales this year. A hundred thousand sales, not a thousand. A hundred thousand closings throughout the U.S. and Canada this year. No problem. I'm going to have to do the math, but no wow. problem. Yeah. And that's, that's all within a five-year period of time. I've got an EXP. Um, next month, we'll make five years. So to be able to, I've never seen anything like it. And it's, I'm not that fancy. I mean, I think there's guys that are much smarter than me, but the model is that powerful. Yeah, it's like everybody's got square wheels, and we found the round wheel. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna go faster if you got a round wheel. We, you know, Netflix was a better model for delivering a product to the endpoint consumer than Blockbuster. What happened to Blockbuster? Oh, that six billion dollar company that clobbered everyone—they were gone in five years. Yeah, you know? digital downloads was a better way for delivering music to the world than record stores where mm -hmm. people go and buy DVDs and, and vinyl oh. record players and cassette tapes and CDs. And remember we used to do all that stuff? Oh, you scratched my vinyl record, you scratched my CD and, <laughs> or, and now it's just boom, boom, digital downloads, Pandora, iTunes, whatever. Yeah. So people create a better way of doing things. Amazon found a better way for people to get product and it's now the largest company in the world. And ESP <laughs> is the Amazon of real estate. We will finish all franchises. We will, we will absolutely bury them. And, yep. and I'm just, I'm just the model's irrevocable. I mean, EXP agents own the company. I knew yeah. I didn't own Remax for 12 years. I knew I didn't own Keller Williams for, for eight years I was there at EXP. We own it with Glenn and a rising tide rises all ships. Yeah. And anyways, I digress. I'll give it back to you. No, 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 that's fantastic. That is fantastic. You know, you, you touched on something that, you know, that you, you, when you were at Remax, they said, you know, oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. And a horrible decision for you. And then you went to Keller, which was fantastic. And I kind of followed the same trail. You know, I was at Remax yeah. and then we went to KW. And I, same, same way like you, I thought, I'm never leaving here. You know, I got to meet yes. some fantastic people, great folks, and the training was awesome and so on and so forth. And then, and, and, and then I got the call. And, and of course, you know, they're like, oh, why don't you just buy the stock and stay here? I'm like, well, I said, that sounds great, but I, I see something here. I, I see something. And you talk about one thing, and the, my big question for you, because I get this question on a regular basis, how has it changed your, you and your family's lives compared to, say, four and a half years ago? Coming up on five now, but four and a half years ago. Well, I, I can tell you this, all, all those years at Remax and Keller Williams, and we do recognition at EXP and Remax sure. and Keller Williams is recognition. I go, here's your trophy. You're number three in the region. You're number one in the office. Here's your trophy. Here's your plaque. And we do that too. We do that yeah. too. To but they also have stock awards that are triggered by hitting certain sales metrics. And I'll give you an example. Everyone thinks, well, I got to go recruit people if I go to EXP. Not at all. I have friends who said, look, I don't want to recruit. But I like the model, 80-20 split, caps at 16 grand. I go to 100%. The most I'm outputting is 16 grand. I like you. Um, hey, fine, I get some of this stock. Every single one of my friends that I can think of that followed me to EXP that was selling 50 or 60 homes a year, which is a decent producer for sure. Sure. They all have three to five million dollars worth of stock. They want recruiters. So they changed where they sold their homes, but it oh. triggered stock awards. We have the trophies and plaques, right? Yeah. But the difference is we have, I mean, I have friends who have sold stock and paid off their homes. Yeah. In California, not not Ohio, yeah. and you're nothing wrong with Ohio or Detroit, but I'm talking homes that cost you know six hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, a million, two million dollars. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. About three Please. years ago, I bought a brand new home. Things are going really well. I had my real estate team, and then all of a sudden, I'm making a hundred thousand a month 
three years ago in yeah. Redmondshire, not a year, a month. And so I bought a new house, brand new, spanking new house. It was cute. My friend bought one. He goes, you should buy the one next door. I walked in, went into the sales thing, and I bought it. And, and I bought a, a home next to my best buddy. So um, I need to put it in the backyard, right? There, It's just dirt, right? So they say pay cash for things. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pay cash. We're going to put, it's California. So I'm going to build the backyard resort. I did this before COVID-19. Didn't know I'd need it, right? But we put in the palm trees and the waterfalls and the pool and the jacuzzi and the outdoor kitchen, the lawn with volleyball and the beautiful rocks and plants and trees and night lighting and water features. And it, it was stunning. And you could put it in Sunset Magazine. I mean, it was like, wow. And I paid cash for it. You know what I did? I sold a little bit of EXPI stock and sliced off about 200 grand, just paid cash for it. Because we're taught by David Ramsey and Susan Orman and mm -hmm. financial planners, hey, pay cash for things. Your grandparents, pay cash for things, son, be responsible. So I thought, I'm, I'm not gonna finance my back here, I'm gonna pay cash. Sure. Biggest mistake of my life. That 200,000 worth of stock has now appreciated 200,000 to 3 million. So let, let me tell you this, have you ever, Chris, have you ever seen a $3 million pool? Uh, $3 million. Uh, maybe at the Olympics. I, <laughs> maybe, I, have I don't a, know. I have a $3 million pool, baby. Awesome. And it looks like a $200,000 pool. <laughs> <laughs> the point is this. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> so I, we have not sold a share of cents stock since. And we, yeah. every chance we get, we pick up another 50, 100 grand, 50, 100 grand. And we have... 15 other investments under 15 uncorrelated assets. And we got some gold, we got some silver, we got some crypto, we got, uh, you know, different investments in different, um, you know, startups in, in, in different, you know, S&P, Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the uh, Nikkei, Nikkei and, and we're diversified. So we're not all into EXPI, but man, we receive these stocks. So that's a big difference. Like why would Chris and Brent leave Keller Williams and we're so fond with it because after eight years, we had nothing but what was in escrow. Well, sell your business, go sell your business, see who will buy it. Your yeah. clients are in love with you, they you know, sell to Bob, but like, we don't know Bob, we know Chris. Yeah. And so it's not as easy to sell your business as you would think. Oh, I know a guy who did it. Yeah, one out of 50,000. And yeah. so here's the deal, that, that stock equity piece is amazing. Well, what about the little guy? My agents, I brought over 18 agents. A lot of them have 50, 100, 200,000 worth of stock. Well, that's not very much 50 grand. What do you have after the last four years at your company? I would call it no grand. You have no grand, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, that's, that's, and those agents were selling like five homes a year and they have $50,000. And they're wow. more excited about their 50,000 than we are our millions because they know how little they did. Some of my agents have a quarter of a million. Some have half a million. Three of my buyer's agents, three, have a million dollars in stock. They could hit Whoa. sell in their Charles Schwab account, sell and put a million dollars cash in their bank account. They, they wow. cry. They look at me and go, thank you for having the vision to do EXP because if we had stayed at our old brokerage, and I won't say the name, I'll just do the initials, KW. If we had stayed at our old brokerage, we would have nothing. Yeah. I mean, a profit share. There's no stock awards. Um, you could buy a little piece of a market center, okay? Sure. I'm talking, it was given to us for doing things we were already doing, selling homes. And mm -hmm. then you kick in the revenue share piece, which is, I mean, within you know 13 months, it was 55,000 a month, not a year, a month. That'll Whoa. change your life. You can budget on that. You can make your house payment, your car payment, your <laughs> rentals. And then four months later, by my, um, by my 17th month, it was over 100,000 a month. And I go, hmm, I did this while listing, you know, 30 homes. I was doing 60. I did cut my production in half to kind of focus on that. So I, I sure. gave the, you know, a part-time effort for 17 months. I went, what would happen if I actually focused on this that's now over 100000 a month if I gave it a full-time focus? So I did that after 17 months. I never listed another home, gave it all to my team, all of my listing specialists, all of my yeah. seventh level, as they call it. Eight months later, it was 200000 a month. Wow. And then three and a half years in, it was 350000 a month. That, that, that's like $4 million a year. Oh, yeah. And then this last year, it jumped. Within about eight months, it jumped to 750000 a month. They went up 400000 a month in seven months on top of the three fifty, And so now I've been anywhere from seven fifty to over 900000 a month. 
Um, in the last 30 days, my back office said I earned a million dollars worth of rev share in the last 30 days. And that has never happened to me. That was the first time. But it's like, and the sky's, we're just getting warmed up. You might be thinking, am I too late? No, you're not. We have become relevant. You know what everyone said a year or two ago? They'll never make it. They'll never make it. Then we ran into the back. And now we're making massive profit. The stock shot up and made the, took the company from $20 billion to over, I mean, $20 million to over $6 billion. And I believe we'll be 90 to 100,000, no problem by the end of this year, by the end of 2021. And that'll take our stock. I mean, 64,000 made it worth 6 billion. What about when we have a quarter of a million? And we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a quarter of a million. That'll happen in the next 24 to 36 months. Yeah. We're the largest real estate company in the world. Nobody has a quarter of a million agents and we will. And, and, and that's four times the 64,000. So you could take our current valuation and you could do what you want with it. I'm not supposed to make a forward statement and nor am I, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not selling you the stick, stake, but I've watched that stake, that, that stock go from 290 a share to five, to 10, to 20, to 30, to 40, to 50, to 60, to 70, to 80. Today, it's almost $90 a share, not split. So if you look online, it's like 42 bucks a share, or whatever, which is like 84 a share. In fact, I'll do a real-time update right now. So the EXPI stock is right there. I keep it on my thing. It's $44.12, which is $88 a share because we just went through a split. Right. We have double the amount of stock. So if you yeah. add it back in, it's 88. We didn't lose anything, but we have double the amount of shares. And it's going to grow up again to 100. And it's going to split again back down to 50 and we'll double the amount of shares. It's a really good thing. And we started <laughs> paying dividends. It's now a dividend paying stock, which means there's so much money to like here. We're going to give back money to all of our shareholders. So every quarter, we're all getting paid from our stock without selling our stock. It's creating income. That's a yeah. dividend. That's pretty cool. So that, that's definitely changed things around the Gove household. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to say the least I, I live i keep a home in northern california and right there that is the ocean that is the <laughs> i have a home out in the caribbean now and um, we're looking at moving up to dorado beach to the ritz carlton property and getting a weekend beach house up there but i mean it's pretty cool and the main thing we can help people yeah. I mean, I have an Excel spreadsheet of causes we support. And someone called us a few weeks ago and, hey, there's 200 Afghan refugees coming in. They get they don't even have anywhere to sleep. They sleep on the ground. And my wife's like, done. And she they go, we need 200 beds. We need 200. My wife bought 200 beds just like that. We had the money to do it. Yeah. You know, FCA, Fellowship Christian. We need 1,000 Bibles. We got to give away 1,000 Bibles to high school kids who are thinking about suicide and the meaning of life. And then do I do, you know, I'm like, here. God loves you. You got a great life, a great plan for your life. And we're able to boom buy a thousand Bibles, and and right now we're we're rebuilding five families' homes here in Puerto Rico. We're gonna do hundred. That's our first goal is to rebuild a hundred families' homes. Their Hurricane Maria hit right here. It hit literally in uh, Palmas del Mar, right there. It came ashore like uh, yeah. Katrina did in New Orleans. It hit. Yeah. Literally, this was ground zero. Yeah. And, um, and so there are families who still haven't recovered. So it's nice to have the finances to make a difference. Instead of saying what my, you know, what my financial planner told us to say, no. when people ask you for the money, say this, say our giving budget is full for the year. We've maxed out our charitable contributions. Check with me next year. And they actually coach you on what to say. Cause like, Oh my gosh. And, and it's cause it's awkward when people say, Hey, can you donate a thousand dollars, $5,000? And they're good causes. Yeah. Fighting human trafficking, good cause. Helping widows and orphans, good cause. Feeding people who are hungry and clothing people, good causes, fresh water. But when you don't have the money, because you're just like, I'm barely making it. So I've seen the XP be radically life-changing for so many people. Yeah. Well, it, it, you know, obviously, Brent, you have been unbelievably successful. Of course, everybody forgets that that's been an immense amount of work that you put in. <clears throat> you're still putting it in. And another question I have for you is what drives you today? You know, you could sit there and you could probably hit the coaster button and go, hey, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> the Gold family is going to be okay. <laughs> That's great. That's a great question, Chris. So um, today I work Monday through Thursday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. because I'm in Puerto Rico. It's Eastern. So that's I'm, I'm from California, Northern California, Sacramento area between San Francisco and Lake Tahoe, if you know the, know the geography over there. And um, so really it's 10 a.m. 
to 3 p.m. So I kind of work 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. West Coast, Pacific Coast time. Sure. But one to six out here on Monday through Thursday. I take Friday, Saturday, Sundays off and we go. We literally pack go bags. We leave Thursday night or Friday morning. We don't come back till Monday. We we hit the free. We're like, I don't know, babe, you want to go left, right, straight? We're like, uh, left. And we go left and we just get lost on the island. We have no idea where we're going. We have no idea where we're staying, but we can pretty much afford to stay wherever we want to go, do sure. whatever we want to do. We could get on a plane and fly to another island. Let's go. Let's hop on a plane. Let's go. And it's <laughs> so fun. But here's what keeps me going. Here's Here's what keeps me going. Are you ready? All ears. I used to help people with the American dream of home ownership. And it's very mm -hmm. rewarding when you help a family buy a home and they cry and you do the selfie in front of the sold sign and they invite you back for the 4th of July or a housewarming. And I'm touchy feely and there's nothing better than working with buyers. Most people yeah. don't like it. Well, you don't like it because they're, they run you ragged, but it really is when, when they get their home and they're so grateful and they cry and they get emotional and you hand them the keys at the closing table or at the house with a bottle of wine or champagne or a gift or whatever, at yeah. flowers. And it's, it's a good feeling. So I used to help people with the, with home, with the American dream, I used to help sellers sell and retire, all that stuff. But you know what I do now? Tell me. I, I help agents, families. I help real estate agents. I help agents, kids. Because if I can help mom and dad, I'm helping the kids. And, and now I'm, I'm able to impact the lives of 64,000 people. At the end of the year, it'll be about 95 to 100,000 people. So I, I, when people ask me to be on podcasts, I jump on. They want me to do a Zoom, I'm there. You want me to talk to someone, I'm there. But I'm, I'm there Monday through Thursday, 1 to 6. What do you do every morning? I walk the beach right out here with my wife. We go play. I play golf this morning, went to the beach club, and we swam from 11 to 1 for two hours. We grab lunch. We'll go out to breakfast. We walk. We play coffee. We're going to pick up pickleball. But I'm, I'm able to do those things because I was able to look behind the veil. Again, had I listened to Remax, I'd never be at Keller Williams. Had I listened to Keller Williams, I'd never be DXP. Keller Williams was a really great step for me. It's a fine company, but you will churn and burn for years and years and years and years and years and years. And hopefully 20 years from now, you'll be able to retire. And I'm telling you right now, in 17 months, I was done. I was able to retire in seven. Well, you still work. I don't know. I, I guess you could call working one to six, Monday through Thursday work, I guess. I don't have to. Like you said, I don't have to. But I want to make a difference. So if yeah. you're watching this, here's what I want you to do. I want you to watch themodelexplained.com. It's, it's a webinar I did, a, a kind of a benefits a briefing, kind of a briefing on why EXP. They have healthcare. I didn't know that. They have 3,000 offices throughout the U.S. and Canada and around the globe. Yep. I didn't know that. They have KV Core, lead generating database and technology and stuff that's like, you know, 20 live classes a day from commercial to residential. Yep. But it's, so I want you to watch it. It's called themodelexplained.com. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to call Chris. Call Chris and say, okay, Brinko said, I have two homework assignments. Watch themodelexplained.com and then call Chris. Because Chris will explain to you what it's all about. And Chris is one of my partners here at eXp. You call Chris, it's like calling me. And yeah. so if I can help out, great. But call Chris. Watch webinar, call Chris. I watched <laughs> that webinar four and a half years ago, and I called Sheila back, which would be like Chris. And then I talked to other people like Gene Frederick, which would be like talking to me. And I, and I did my homework. And two weeks later, I moved a $100 million producing team away from Keller Williams to a company nobody had ever heard of. And now I will close a hundred thousand homes this year no problem yeah. it's gotten that big it, it is crazy that's that that is an expansion model like nothing you've ever seen yeah you know yeah. i mean literally that is it, just unbelievable unbelievable well hey i know time is precious and i got i got a couple more quick questions and then we're going to get you get you going here brent because i know your, your day is packed today and i can't thank you enough for taking time with us well, if you had an agent sitting in front of you right now who was skeptical about EXP and just, you know, kind of, hey, I've heard it or I know it or blah, 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 what would you say to him? Well, I mean, if you've heard it, then you should be here. And if you've heard it, well, I've heard it and I'm not that impressed. Well, then I don't know what you saw and I don't know what you heard. But I'm telling you, if you will go watch and really listen, I mean, to, to do this podcast, we, I'll show you, we put our phones on airplane mode right there. It's still on airplane mode. I have to get airplane phone. So I put my phone on airplane mode to be present for Chris, for all of you. 
put your phone on airplane mode and then watch the modelexplain.com really listen take notes take pictures and then do your homework i did my homework and I, I found a way in a five-year period to make $2.1 million a year outside of real estate sales. And then I achieved it in three years. I, in my third year, I made $3.5 million. You know what I was making after three years at Keller Williams? Because they have a seven-generation payout for recruiting. They recruited Keller Williams, the largest company in the world. Sure. I was making $700 a month. It was a car <laughs> payment. That's what I was making. And I was grateful. I thought, wow, it's way better than Remax. I yeah. got $10 Starbucks cards in 12 years at Remax. And a, free, a few free lunches. And they gave me a, a weekend cruise to Ensenada. Those are 199 bucks. I never even went. You go once, you'll never go again. Yeah. I think I won two or three of those. But all of a sudden... You know, to be able to make 2.1 million, well, I haven't seen that. So there you go. You haven't seen it all. You haven't heard it all. And I went to a friend of mine, Rick Chiha, who's a master faculty trainer, master trainer for Keller Williams. He mm -hmm. owned at one time pieces of five, at least five, if not seven Keller Williams. He was the OP. He owned it. He was the guy who had it going on. My oh, yeah. favorite trainer at Keller Williams. They bring all these. I must have had 30 trainers come through my office. My favorite trainer, Rick T. Haas. So I talked to him about XP. He's, oh, I know all about it. Everyone's told me about it. I've seen it. I've heard it. I know all about it. And now I've been to Napa with him, with his wife and my wife, just for fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's meet Napa. Let's have dinner. And we did that. And they live an hour, one direction. We're not, but we rendezvoused in Napa. So we know each other on a personal level. I said, okay, sure. that's cool. 10 people have talked to you about it. You know all about it. You've seen it. You know all about it. I know all about it. I go, so you saw our five-year plan to make $2.1 million. And you're not interested? Are you serious? Are you doing that well? And he goes, well, no, I haven't seen that. Okay, so you haven't seen everything. You haven't heard everything. He goes, okay, okay, now we're friends. He goes, okay, okay, fine, send it over. I'll watch it. He watches themodelexplained.com mm -hmm. and he texts me two words, I'm in. Yeah. No questions. Now, he's a friend of mine. He trusts me. Right. I, the Sheila from Dallas who called me, I didn't know her, so I asked her a million questions. So my advice to you is, if you haven't seen the five-year plan to make 2.1 million, you don't even know what you're saying no to. I've seen it. I've heard it. So you tell me how you make 2.1 million in a five-year period. Chances are you have not seen that. And when you see that, I'll make sure Chris gets the, uh, I'm going to make sure Chris here gets that illustration. I created it. And I talked about this about four years ago. At the time I was making 27,000 a month and revenue share outside of my team, which will help with your mortgage payment, car payments. I've been sure in the eight or nine months at the time and I was making 27,000 a month. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? And so I'm talking about this five-year plan to make 2.1 million, but 27,000 a month is nowhere near, you know, 180,000 a month that I was talking about, right? Whatever right. 2.1 million would be divided by, you know, 12. And sure. so, but my third year I made 3.5 million. I mean, didn't didn't I didn't hit the goal of two point one? I smashed it <laughs> because of the model. So again, homework assignment. You, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you three. It's really easy. Watch the modelexplain.com. Two, call Chris. Three, have him show you the five year plan on how to make two point one million a year. It's six minute long illustration. Now, I think I'm just gonna call Chris right now and say, show me that. You have to get the foundation. I need you to watch the model. It's 33 minutes. We're talking about your life here. Yeah. We're talking about, I mean, slow down action, Jackson. You know, <laughs> put your phone on airplane mode, get up tomorrow morning, get a cup of coffee and pay attention because this will change your life and it'll change the lives of your family and friends. People in tears thank me for getting them involved with DXP. So I hope this was helpful. And that would be, and I will say one thing, Chris. You said, what would you say? So I'm skeptical. I want you to back up and like take in a book and put it on the bookshelf here, put it on the bookshelf, the idea of you leaving your current brokerage because it creates stress, stress and anxiety for people because you have friends down there. You like your broker. You like your sales manager. You've been there for five years or 25 years or 35 years or 15 years. I get it. I had a little bit of that going on leaving Keller Williams. Like, oh, my buddies. I built that office. I hired 177 agents in one year. I mean, those agents were there because I said, come. And now I'm leaving. It was a little <laughs> weird for me, too. So here's what I want you to do. Mentally do an exercise. If this was a book, pretend you're going to put it on the bookshelf right here. And that's the idea of you leaving Sotheby's or Cobalt Banker or Remax or Keller Williams. You're not going anywhere. But make a commitment to me right now. 
that you will stay in curiosity about this model that's about to become the largest real estate company in the world in the next 24 months. It's going to happen and, and you need to check it out. So stay in curiosity about the model, learn about the model. And after you do a little homework, spend an hour or two. If you decide it's not for you, fine, it's not for you. But I think if you do do your homework, I think there's, you'd be crazy not to be here. Just crazy not to be here. And I will help you. Chris will help you. People you don't even know will help you. Or you can go to all those masterminds, all those classes, then go back to your room, your office, at your, you know, your private office, at the office, shut the door, and it's you alone, banging the phones, calling the expireds, calling the for sale by owners. Maybe you lace up your sneakers and you're door knocking 50 homes a day, 70 homes a day. You're pounding the open houses all weekend. It's you alone and going for it. And when I got in these people, people I didn't even know started fighting for me to win because if I won, they won. EXP gave them a, a more portion of what I created. And I ended up creating more and they got more. I created a ton, they got a ton. So they kept working to help me. So it's pretty cool. And I'm a part, Chris and I are business partners. So like I said, watch that video, themodelexplained.com. Call Chris, have him show you the five-year plan to make 2.1 million. Then you decide. Chris, hope wow. you do something helpful today. That is fantastic. I One last, and, and you're again, I can't thank you enough. And it's funny you talk about people crying. I know how you've changed our lives just in this short period of time we've been together. And, you know, with Jeff and Marcy and Rodney and Amanda and so on. So, you know, it, just the, 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 the collaboration, is it, it's unreal. And the accessibility to you and so on. It's not like you're on some pedestal over here and you just don't pick up the Stop phone like I'm on like, some Look. island in the Caribbean yeah, yeah. <laughs> just an island in the Caribbean but uh, you got a few friends down there as I understand we, we all do come to think about it yeah but uh, any final thoughts before we go and, and, I, and I promised I wouldn't cry so I won't because I, I, right. I could because I, I could, you know of the way it's changed our lives but uh, that's awesome that's any awesome. final thoughts before we get going here I would say um if you seriously want to understand this, come to our next big event. We just did one in Dallas. I put together a mastermind, you know, myself and Gene Frederick and 5,000 people showed up. Tony Robbins showed up and flew in his Goldstream, his scary team. And he was our keynote speaker the third day, but 5,000 people. I've seen Remax have 5,000 people show up. I've seen Keller Williams get six, seven, eight thousand. It was just an agent. How many agents you know? And it's not because Gene Frederick and I are special. It's because the model's unbelievable. We're already planning out 2024. What about yeah. 2024? We're going to have 15,000 people at our mastermind. 2023, we're going to have 10,000 people at our mastermind. We're already booking coliseums. Yeah. We're, we're going we're to have 25,000 people. I mean, it's going to be unbelievable because EXP is changing lives. So I can say is come to our next big event. And right now, the next big event is November 9th, 10th, and 11th, 2021 in Las Vegas. Yep. People will see this video next spring because videos live on, right? Sure, sure. So find out the shareholders is every May. So maybe you're watching this next uh, February, March, April of 2022 shareholders is in may come i went to the exp event there were 400 people there i asked the founder glenn sanford jason guessing the ceo i met brokers of states how do you like it they really pay you you really get these stock awards they ever bounce your check did they ever are they ever late paying revenue share and everyone's like no it's great i love it i love it i love it i just talked to 100 people i came back and moved and so yeah. if you're serious and you'd like to do some due diligence come to our next big event exp con is in November, every year. It's our yeah. annual convention. We call it EXP Con, but it's our annual convention. And again, this year, it's November 9th, 10th, 11th in Las Vegas. Yep. Probably going to be in Las Vegas the following November. This May, we'll have shareholders. I don't know where it's going to be. Could be in New Orleans. It could be in Florida and Orlando. But go to that. Check it out. Say, I, I want to show up to the EXP shareholders. By the way, have you been to a shareholder uh, meeting? Because every corporation is required to have a shareholder meeting every year. And I've never been to one at Remax because I wasn't a shareholder. And I never went to one at Gary Keller. Keller's International is owned by Gary Keller himself. He has a shareholder meeting every year by himself at his yeah. house <laughs> or somewhere. You know, there's, there's a tight group. <laughs> they, they own pits of the region, but is owned by Gary Keller, baby. And so I, I never went to shareholder meetings until I was a shareholder at EXP. And it was my company. And we all go over here. There'll be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people there. You need to be there. That's shareholders in May. 
EXP Shellros, very formal Wall Street's there, investors are there, CFO, financial reports, State of the Union, awesome. Yeah. It's a three-day event, and then EXP Con in November. So that's my final day. It's a great place for you to check us out and do some serious homework. If you're serious, that is also another great step for you. Yeah, yeah. Brent, again, brother, I can't thank you enough. Um, for everybody, uh, as Brent said, if you need to get a hold of us, click the link below. As we like to say, and if you couldn't gather it from what Brent said, <clears throat> as we like to say, if you knew what EXP could do for you, you would already be here. And obviously with Brent who showed you the way, he showed us all the way. I can't thank you enough, my friend. No and, problem. Uh, Thanks for having me on, Chris. I look forward to seeing you guys this year in Las Vegas at our annual convention. Chris, I'll high five you when I see you. Again, reach out to Chris, my uh, business partner, and we'll go from there and we'll all get connected. Take care. We'll see you, Chris. Thanks for having me on. Have an awesome day, my friend.